Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Better Connecticut. I'm Kara Sundlin. And I'm Dennis House. Thanks for joining us. I'm in today for Scott Haney. Yeah, we're happy to have you. Now, just a little programming note. Uh, Better, you were wondering where it was yesterday. Of course, it was preempted by the disaster of the B-17 crash at Bradley International Airport. We're, of course, covering that extensively today. And just our thoughts are going out to all those families who are devastated by this. Just a grim, sad day in Connecticut. The second worst aviation disaster in Connecticut history. But much more on that coming up today, beginning at 4.30. But we want to get you caught up on all your people news, and that means going to People Magazine. Tyler Perry is in this week's issue of People Magazine. That's available everywhere on Friday. We get a little early around here to let you know about Tyler Perry's Grace and Cover. And he's talking about some serious things like surviving his abusive childhood, um, all the trauma and trials that have led him actually yeah. to be the creative mind that he is. And he is so, so creative. Yeah. He's really focused in his career. Here's a little bit of his interview. That's where... Um my gift to write came from. It was in the heartache, in the hell, in the pain, in my mind, no matter what was happening to me, be it sexual abuse, whatever was happening at the time, in my mind, I could go and be somewhere else. And from surviving a painful childhood to becoming an entertainment superstar, Perry says he discovered that love would actually heal him, and he wants to put all of his energy into raising his four-year-old son. Yeah. To read the full story, you can pick up a copy of People on Friday, which of course, mm -hmm. Our parent company also owns people. Yeah, and just, you know, I think it's inspirational because he had such a tough childhood, whether it be him or Oprah or so many of the people, when you hear what they went through <clears throat> and how they used it to actually catapult the success they've had, yeah. I think it gives a lot of hope to other people out there. And just, you know, people, everyone goes through stuff. Absolutely. It's, it's an easy um, way to watch it. Just download the People TV app. Yeah. Angelina Jolie is saying uh, in her People magazine, or, or she, this is actually an Us Weekly, and she's <laughs> saying she is never walking down the aisle again. She's actually saying that she never really wanted to get married in the first place. It was more Brad Pitt who pressured her. Oh, blame it on the husband. Blame it on the boyfriend. <laughs> we always get blamed for things like that. She made her own decision. <laughs> Just my opinion here. The 44-year-old actress will never get married again, she says, claiming she, well, just Brad, Brad made her do it. <laughs> you know... <laughs> All right. In the meantime, Brad Pitt is just talking about that he's on his own journey. He's happy that all the craziness is behind him and that he's trying to figure out his culpability. But you know, from, from years in the past, before, he always said he wanted a huge family. And yeah. certainly he they got, got one. that. So. They Maddox, who's now 18, Pax, 15, Sahara, 14, Shiloh, 13, and the twins, Knox and Vivian, are 11. Yeah. Of course, Brad and Angelina are no longer. Right. So... Bye-bye. Uh, Justin Timberlake had a hilarious reaction <laughs> when he was in Paris. Apparently, if you are a jokester or a prankster, then you should go to Paris Fashion Week because mm -hmm. we showed you about the how uh, the model jumped on and pretended to be a supermodel walking down the catwalk. Well, then another prankster apparently thought it was really cool to grab onto Justin Timberlake's ankles. Mm. Uh, we're Interesting. Gonna, there we go. So there well, it is. He was trying to drag him away. This is the Louis Vuitton Spring 2020 Fashion Show during Passion Paris Fashion Week. Why and do they call it 2020 Fashion Week if it's not? Because you have to know what's coming out next oh, year. Okay. All right, that's where it all starts. All right. And, and in fact, his little uh, when he posted that, he said, last night at Louis Vuitton, human anklet not included. So he had a little fun <laughs> with his Fashion Week. And uh, we're talking about Saved by the Bell. Did you watch Saved by the Bell at I all? did watch Saved by the oh, Bell, okay. yeah. I wasn't sure No, 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 no. I'm certainly Tiffany Amber Thiessen. Yes. yes well, of course. she's saying that no one bothered to call her about joining the reboot, so apparently she's not going to be a part of it. Uh, so are they parents now? They're, no, no. They're going to, I don't know what they're going to do. They're going to do a reboot. I don't know exactly how they're going to do it. But they're not going to be students Lo anymore. They're a little old for Mario Lopez and Elizabeth Berkeley are said to make a comeback. So she says that uh, she's not surprised that there's going to be a reboot because they're rebooting everything. But she has her own Netflix series, Netflix, uh, Netflix series, I should say, right now. And actually, it looks kind of interesting. I was thinking it could be good for our daughter, Helena, because it's about two high school girls that are best friends, but one of them has cancer, and they're yeah. kind of going through uh -huh. life. But it's, it's like a coming-of-age story. I think one of them's from Connecticut. Maybe I have that confused with another. A Netflix sh show? Sure. No, 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 no. Uh, Saved by the Bell. Oh. Maybe I'm confused with, like, Dawson's Creek and one of those other 90s. Kids it. Uh, I don't know. Jay. Oh, I know we interviewed him. Dawson's Creek. That's what Jay. Yeah, I always get those ninety things confused sometimes. It wasn't the nineties. It was earlier than that. Oh, whatever. It wasn't yeah, James 90s. James Vanderbeek. <laughs> it wasn't the eighties. I don't think. Anyway. I was watching right. Saved by the Bell when I was little, and I wasn't little in the nineties. <laughs> All right, producer Jamie Kelly. When did Saved by the Bell debut? We need a we'll figure quick, it out. Please okay. do. Please All right. do. 
So uh, a lot of people are outraged on the internet about this. Now we've I've certainly you're telling your kids be careful what you post on social media. It might affect you in yeah. college. It might affect you a job. But this sort of went the other way. A company was looking for a marketing expert, and a young woman applied, and it said that you should follow them on Instagram if you want a better shot of getting this job. So she did. But instead, when she started following them, she realized they took a picture she had posted on her personal Instagram. Yeah, they went through her pictures and yeah. used it as an example of what not to be if you want to be getting a job. We'll so show. it's a picture of her in a swimsuit, and here it is. And she says that this hurt her from being hired, and then they made fun of her by putting it on their Instagram story, telling other potential employees never to do this, right? Yeah, and they made a little PSA about it. They said, because I know some of you applicants are looking at this, the company wrote, do not share your social media with a potential employer if this is the kind of content on it. I'm looking for a potential marketer, not a bikini model. But she kind of got the last laugh here. Right, well, the, all, everybody took her side, mostly, on the internet, and now a lot of the social media accounts for this company, which has a name that we can't really say on TV. It's a marketing company, you're, yeah. Anyway, so, so there's some argument that the marketing company is the one who's missing the boat. And now they're getting in a lot of trouble. By the way, uh, New Knowledge, it debuted in 1989, Saved by the Bell. 1989? So it's the 89-90 season. Okay. So we were both correct. I was not born yet. I thought I was younger than that. Okay. Well, apparently not. All Nothing right. wrong with tape. Don't be ashamed <laughs> of admitting you watch Saved by the Bell regardless I did watch of it. your I age. I just imagine if he gets that. All right, another busy day here at Channel 3.